hello and welcome to all of you today i'm going to discuss with you business uh, mathematics and statistics paper 2012 for bcom 1 uh, this paper belongs to university of uh, sargoda and now i am going to discuss with you the solution so first question is that attempt any two questions from each section all questions carry equal marks and first question is compulsory first question is about uh, consists on uh, theoretical questions uh, so first question is discrete variable uh, discrete variable is a variable in which our data has some specific value within a given range uh is called discrete variable uh for example number of students uh, number of persons uh, second question is median median is a type of average uh median is the most middle value in the arrayed data however in group data median can be calculated through the formula which is l plus h over f uh, multiplied by n by 2 minus c uh third question is trend deviation trend devi deviation is uh, uh an absolute measure of dispersion uh and formulas uh, for ungrouped data and grouped data are also given question number 4 uh index number or relative number which indicates the relative change in a group of variables collected at different time index number is a device for estimating trend in price wages production and other economic variables it is also known as economics economic barometer or uh, an index number is a number that measures a relative change in a variable or an average relative change in a group of related variable with respect to a base a base may be that particular time space professional class with whose reference change are to be measured e is the correlation correlation is a statistical measure which calculates the relationship of two variables uh, its answer ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 both inclusive Uh, there are five different possible types of in uh, correlation uh, positive uh, negative perfectly positive perfectly negative and zero correlation the next one is attribute attribute refers to the quality of characteristic the theory of attributes deals with the qualitative type of characteristics that are calculated by using quantitative measurement therefore the attribute needs slightly different kinds of statistical treatments which the variable do not get simply uh, in uh, in a simple sense you can say that a uh, qualitative variable is also called an attribute uh, parameter is a statistical measure Uh, of population for example mean of population or variance of population or standard deviation of population these are all all different types of parameter null matrix is known as zero or null matrix if all its elements are zero it is called null matrix compound interest uh, compounded interest is interest calculated on the initial principle and also on the accumulated interest of previous periods of deposits or loan uh most recent uh amount uh included uh in including uh the recent interest also on which we calculate the interest is called compound interest in simple case Uh, each time we calculate the interest on the principal amount uh, but in compound interest we calculate interest uh, which depends on most recent balance price 
so that is called compound interest arithmetic progression in mathematics and at arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between the consecutive term uh, is constant for instance the sequence 5 7 9 11 13 15 is an arithmetic progression with common difference of 2 linear equation uh, we already discussed these different concepts uh, in the calculation of different uh, questions uh, those were asked in the paper of business mathematics and statistics including linear equation linear equation is an equation which represents the linear regression model and it describes the relationship between the given variables the equation as given below y equals to alpha plus beta x is a type of linear equation uh, discount in finance discount refers to the condition of the price of a bond that is lower than par or face value the discount equals the difference between the price paid for a security and the securities par value uh, more example is given also given here you can pause the video and see or write down the answers now we finally move to the section one in which calculate mean median and mode uh, for the uh, data given below data is in the form of group data and as you are seeing here that there is no need to calculate the class boundaries because upper limit of first class and lower limit of second class is equal so there is no need to calculate the class boundary we have to need uh, we have to calculate x that is class mark simply uh, lower class plus upper class divided by 2 is equals to class mark and after that you do not need to calculate each class mark one by one so uh, simply uh, you just notice here that there is a difference of 10 in each class so that is height h so just add up uh, height 10 uh, and uh, the uh, result will be your class mark 5 plus 10 15 15 plus 10 25 and so on after that in calculation of median quartile decile and percentile i already discussed that there is a need of cumulative frequency just take first frequency here and just add up next frequency into previous total and in this way you can calculate cumulative frequency now we finally come to the calculation mean is equals to sum of fx over sum of f uh, we need the product of f and x 5 multiplied by 3 15 15 multiplied by 9 135 and so on and sum is 2655 so 2655 divided by 79 is equals to 33.607 median first of all we select the model class uh, just 79 divided by 2 calculate this n by 2 and locate uh, the uh, model class so 79 divided by 2 uh, which is equals to 39.5 and 39.5 falls in the cumulative frequency of 57 so this will be your model class and c will be 27 which is before the cumulative frequency of model class so l will be 30 h is 10 difference of x values and f is 30 n by 2 is 39.5 minus 27 so median will be 34.17 selection for mode model class for mode is the class which has maximum frequency maximum frequency is 30 so um, the same model class will be selected l is 30 fm is which is maximum frequency 30 f1 is 15 f2 is 15 h is 10 just put up these values into this formula and mode will be 35 question number three that calculate coefficient of correlation and line of regression of y on x and x on y i already discussed in previous papers that we need five different calculations while calculating uh, correlation and regression 
so sum of x sum of y sum of x y sum of x square sum of y square so all the calculations are given here uh, now first of all we will calculate correlation coefficient in which correlation coefficient uh, is equals to sum of x y divided by n minus sum of x over n multiplied by sum of y over n divided by standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y uh, mean of x is 22.5 mean of y is 18.9 standard deviation of x is 2.87 standard deviation of y is 1.58 simply put up all these values into this formula and correlation will be 0 0.96 which indicates the positive relation now we move to the uh, B part of this and that is uh, to calculate the regression equations uh, and first of all we need here two regression coefficients beta x on y and beta y on x beta x on y is equals to correlation coefficient multiplied by standard deviation of x standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of y and regression uh, coefficient y on x is correlation coefficient uh, multiplied by standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x just put up all these values into the formulas and there are two regression coefficients after that finally we will calculate regression line of y on x and regression line of x on y so if we calculate the regression line of y on x its formula is y minus y hat equal to uh, regression coefficient y on x multiplied by x minus x bar just simply put up all these values and solve it and finally it will become 7.31 plus 0.5285 x in which 7.31 is alpha and 0.5285 will be beta uh, which is already given here so uh, in reverse regression line x on y we just interchange this formula x minus x bar equals to regression coefficient x on y multiplied by y minus y bar and just put up all these values and it will be equals to minus 10.386 that is alpha plus 1.74 uh, that is beta which is already calculated here Question number four that construct index number for the uh, year 2002 for the following data taking 2001 as base year uh, using less pairs, pastures, and fisher. <coughs> Sorry. So, first of all, we arrange this data uh, the price and quantity for first year uh, is base, is considered as base. So, price of 2001 is P naught, quantity of 2001 is q naught and price and quantity of 2002 will be p1 and q1 and after that we need these four calculations p naught q naught p1 q naught p1 q1 and p naught q1 simply uh, multiply according to the uh, formula p naught q naught p naught multiply by q naught 10 multiply by 25 to 50 similarly p1 q naught 9 uh, multiply by 25 equals to 225 p1 q1 9 multiply by 218 and p0 q1 uh, p0 and q1 10 multiply by 280 uh, 20 so in this way you can calculate uh, all these calculations uh, which is already given here so sum of p0 q0 is 659 sum of p1 q0 579 p1 q1 420 and p0 q1 490 after getting uh, these four calculations just put up these calculations in the formulas of less pairs and pastures and fisher formulas are given here so in this way you can calculate pastures index less pairs index is 87.86 uh, pastures index is 85.71 and fisher index will be 87 86.77 alternatively if you have these two answers so simply you can multiply these two and take the under root that will also be equals to fisher's index question number five 
is equals to uh, sorry it is about the calculation of sampling so our population consists of six number six nine twelve eighteen and twenty one consider all possible samples of size three which can be drawn without replacement in previous two questions those are related to the Punjab University in which uh, sample size 2 was asked and uh, remaining question uh, was same uh, so here uh, we I already told you that uh, there are three important things uh, which should be noted before calculation that what is the population what is the size and what is the case either with replacement or without replacement after that we just convert our solution into three different steps first step is to calculate the uh, sample statistic second part is to the calculation of population parameter and in third part we just verify our results so first of all population is 6 9 12 18 21 1 2 3 4 5 so upper case n will be 5 sample size is 3 lower case n will be 3 all possible samples can be obtained through combination method in case of without replacement uh, but uh, mind it that in case of with replacement uh, we just take the power n raised to upper case n raised to power lower case n but here it is the case of without replacement so uh, it will be obtained uh, through combination method and that is equals to 10 so there are 10 possible samples so how can we make uh, the samples uh, first of all 6 9 12 6 9 18 6 9 21 6 9 12 6 9 18 6 9 21 after that skip 9 and 6 12 18 and 6 12 21 6 12 18 and 6 12 21 after that skip 12 and take 18 in pairing 6 18 21 6 18 21 after that skip 6 and take 9 into consideration 9 12 18 9 12 21 after that 9 18 21 and finally 12 18 21 so here are the samples here are the sum of these samples and here are the mean of each sample 27 there are three digits so 27 divided by 3 9 33 divided by 3 11 and so on after that uh, we just take these means individually uh, least value is 9 11 12 13 uh, 14 15 16 and 17 and just place the relevant frequency for each mean 9 appeared one time 11 appeared one time 12 appeared two time so frequency will be 2 13 appeared two time frequency will be 2 and so on and after that we need two more calculations fx bar and fx bar square fx bar is the simply multiplication of these two and fx bar square is equals to fx bar multiplied by x bar and some of these is 1794 132 and 10 so just put up uh, these into the formulas uh, sum of fx bar over sum of f uh, which is equals to the mean and that is uh, equals to 13.2 and variance uh, is equal to sum of fx bar square over sum of f minus mean square and after putting the value we can get variance which is 5.16 and just take the uh, under root of the variance which is equals to the standard deviation of the sample so mean of sample is 13.2 variance of sample is 5.16 and standard deviation of sample is 2.27 after that we move to the second part and that is about the population take the population 6 9 12 18 11 uh, 21 uh, sum of x is will be 66 and uh, after that we take the square of these two and sum of the square is 1026 just put up these two calculations into the formulas uh, sum of uppercase n x over uppercase n equals to 66 by 5 equals to 13.2 
just put the values into the formula of variance of population parameter variance will be 30.96 and standard deviation is just under root of the variance that will be equals to 5.5641 third and last step is the f uh, verification I told you in the previous papers that uh, sample mean also equals to the population mean so 13.2 equals to 13.2 in case of uh, uh, variance uh, of sample mean in case of without replacement it is equals to the population mean uh, population variance over sample size multiplied by population size minus population uh, sample size divided by population size minus 1 just put up these values into the formula and this will be equals to the sample variance and simply if this when if this will be equal this also will be equal because just take the under root of 5.16 and that will be equals to 2.27 uh, alternatively you can apply the formula which is given here now we move to the section 2 if a matrix is 342151212 b matrix is 35241353131 prove that a b is not equal to b a i already discussed several times about the multiplication of matrix in previous papers uh, of Punjab University uh, you can also uh, watch here uh, one time more and uh, that first row multiply by first column first row multiply by second column first row multiply by third column so these multiplications are given here after that we just replace the row first row multiply by first column oh sorry second row multiply by first column second row multiply by second and second row multiply by third which is given here and at last third row multiply by first column third row multiply by second and third multiply by third column calculation is given here so uh, product of a b will be 35 25 20 28 13 18 20 17 and 9 now we will multiply uh, we will perform same uh, process which we performed here but we just uh, take B matrix first and a second and apply the same method which we applied uh, here and the result will be 18 39 15 19 24 15 20 36 15 and hence it is proved that a B is not equal to B a question number 7 solve for X X minus 3 over X plus 3 equals to x plus 1 uh, or divided by x plus 6 simply cross multiply these x minus 3 multiply x plus 6 equals to x plus 1 multiply x plus 3 and solve for x here you are seeing that uh, minus x minus 21 uh, so it will goes to other side and that will be equals to x equals to 21 and finally just change the sign so x will be minus 21 b part is 3 6 x square plus 6 x plus 2 simply quadratic formula will be applied here uh, first one is the 3 a will be 3 b will be 6 and c will be 2 apply these values into the formula of quadratic equation and you can solve the values of x question number 8 the difference of two number is 4 twice the first number plus 3 times the second equals to 24 you will have to make the equation the difference of the two number is 4 first number is assumed as x second number is assumed as y so x minus y will be 4 it will be the first equation twice the first number so it means 2x plus 3 times the second plus 3y equal 28 equal 28 here you can solve it through different methods you can apply a simultaneous linear equation method you can apply inverse of matrix method you can apply in Kramer rule method I applied here Kramer rule method first of all I may made the matrix 1 minus 1 2 and 3 XY are two variables equals to 4 and 28 
and x equals to the derivative uh, determinant of dx over d determinant and y is equals to dy determinant divided by d determinant and we need here only three determinants and determinant is simply the multiplication and subtraction of these elements so one multiply by three minus minus one multiply by two is equals to five that is equals to d determinant after that for dx determinant we just take this column and place here so it will become 4 minus 1 28 and 3 and repeat the same process 4 multiply by 3 minus minus 1 multiply by 28 which will be equals to 40 after that we just take this column and place here and take the determinant that will be equals to 20 just put up the values into these two formulas and you can get the value of x and y x will be 8 and y will be 4 and you can also prove that B question uh, is about the arithmetic progression that sum up the series 3 plus 33 plus 333 3, 3, and so on to six terms so here sn will be 3 33 3 3 3 up to six terms so here we are going to take uh, 1 by 3 9 plus 99 plus 999 uh, up to six terms and finally how can we get this 9 10 minus 1 how can we get this 99 100 minus 1 how can we get this 999 thousand minus 1 up to six terms so 10 plus 100 plus 1000 to six terms minus these one will be separated here minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to six terms and finally we will apply here 1 by 3 10 10 raised to power 6 minus 1 divided by 10 minus 1 minus 6 and finally the answer will be 370368 question number 9 is the sum of money was borrowed and pay back in two installments of rupees 882 allowing 5 percent compound interest what was the sum borrowed so it it is the case of multiple payments so it uh, uh, NOT will be applied here uh, a sum of money was borrowed but we don't know about the borrowed amount so pre uh, present value is missing uh, installment is 882 so R will be 882 uh, interest is 5% so interest will be 0 0.05 and uh, number of payments are 2 so N will be equals to 2 here we just apply the formula present value equals to r multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus i raised to power minus n divided by i finally put these values into this formula and present value will be 1639.9908 b part is that a property changed hands four times and each time the loss to the seller was 10 percent if in the last transaction the loss was 729 find out the original value of the property let the original price of the property is 100 we assumed here that the original price is 100 uh, 10 percent loss so 10 will be loss so remaining value will be 90 so finally 10 percent loss on second selling will be 9 because 10 percent of 90 will be 9 and the remaining value will be 81 so 10% of loss for 81 will be 8.10 and remaining value will be 72.9 and finally in fourth selling uh, the loss will be 7.29 of 72.9 uh, 10% of 72.9 and the remaining value will be 65.61 if the loss is 729 the original price will be 729 multiplied by 100 divided by 7.29 so it is equals to rupees 10,000 so it was the paper of 2012 University of Sargoda 
soon i will come uh, with the next paper uh, stay safe stay blessed and take care of yourself and your respondents thank you